Is animation only for kids or can adults enjoy them too? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christians, where we do original content as well as clean anime and manga reviews. So, let's discuss animation. In America, we have this idea that animation is just for kids, and that adults should just grow up out of these shows. But, what if I told you there are some adult animation you can enjoy that would not feel kiddish? You see, I'm an anime fan. This is why I say clean anime and manga review. The idea is not that these comics or anime is just for kids, but the animation can be geared towards adults as well. So why is it when we think Christian animation, all of them have this kiddish vibe to them and have to be squeaky clean? This is not to say there aren't good ones, but you have to dig deep to find them. One thing I have noticed, especially in Christian animation, is all of them seem to have some form of musical, which is not bad per se, but it comes across really kiddish, like aiming at a 3 year old but expecting a 12 year old to be interested. I do not like to say this, but I'm expressing my concern with Christian animation, when other cartoons have more mature themes. What's so fascinating to me is that everything is so squeaky clean. Like you can't show blood, you can't show killing, you can't show lust. Most of the time they have the Israelite being chased down a road somewhere. I'm not saying this approach is bad, but you limit the viewers you're trying to aim at. Plus, what's with all these musical numbers? I sometimes feel that they're not necessary for the animation and they're just there to fill time. So how do we fix aiming to kids to aiming to more adults? and having more mature themes in our animation. First of all, let's start by asking ourselves what did we like when we were 10 year old? What cartoons did we watch? Why did we enjoy them? Etc. Instead of aiming your target towards kids and say there will be music, fun, etc. Put yourself in their shoes and remember when you were little, what did you like? Did you like Christian stuff or was it forced down? Put that into the experience. To give a few good examples of cartoons I liked when I was little would be Tiny Toons, Animaniacs, A Pup Named Scooby-Doo, Batman the Animated Series, and more recently, Ben 10 and Ben 10 Alien Force. It all has to do with the story. And remember, kids are not as dumb as you think they are. And another good example of this is Avatar The Last Airbender, in which it deals with mature topic without feeling kiddish to a degree. Now there's nothing wrong with having music in the animation, but don't oversaturate it with music just to fill time. I will let you on a little secret here. Out of all these shows, I list. Can you remember the storyline or any of the characters? Or do you remember the theme song the most? DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, Batman the Animated Series, Kim Possible, The Proud Family, Real Adventures of Johnny Quest, etc. Here's the secret. The theme songs were used back in the day for advertising and getting us to watch the show. And we would watch that particular show because of its theme song. Now what I am saying is, instead of having music scattered throughout, focus on one theme song for your animation. The second thing is don't be afraid to deal with more mature topics in your animation. When you aim at an older audience that can handle more mature things, like having a good storyline. But remember, have fun with it instead of aiming it towards kids all the time. Make something unique for both adults and kids to enjoy. Also, if you aim at an older audience in your animation, 
Then you can put blood like in the crucifixion. Show how the Israelites killed the different kings. How David lusted, etc. Don't be afraid to show these things in the animation since these are in the Bible as well. Especially the crucifixion of Jesus. If you're aiming towards an older audience. Now I'm not saying you can't aim towards kids. What I am saying is think a little more complex with the stories that interest you and the demographic you're aiming at, which would be adults, kids, young adults, etc. So I hope this helps people in animation. And if you have an animation YouTube channel, put a link in the comments below because I would love to see some of those YouTube channels. I use a software called MovieZoom and I will put a link in the description below. Join me next Friday for our second bonus episode TV show. And never forget, Animated Christians, it's just for you.